Okay, another milestone is upon us. We have the mission to earn as many chimichangas as we can in a 10 day span. So, let's see. We have a new spreadsheet. Uh, it's actually a variation or a copy of one of my old ones, templates, and then just updated for this specific event. I also rearranged stuff and because I really didn't like the layout of that old one. It was very difficult for me to read. And, uh, you know, there's there's some better better ways to present the information. So we have two parts to this milestone. One is opening uh, your own orbs, gold orbs, mega orbs, and all of that. If you see the spreadsheet over here on the far right, we have orb values. One's for the fireworks orbs, which is one of the milestones. And the other one is your regular orbs here. There is a matrix with the point totals for each one and each one of these will have uh, different values on them. Uh, you can put in your inventory here. I did all of mine just to calculate what my projected point total would be. And then uh, that tells you your potential points here. And so if you fill that in, you can figure out how many points you'll get towards the milestones. And if you go back over to the left here, you can see where the milestones, uh, or where you get, what you get from the chimichangas. You need, um, you need, I think it's 4,200 or so points. And I, I just realized I didn't put that in here. I need to add that. Uh, <laughs> so good on me. I'll fix that. Don't worry about it. But this is the really easy one. If you've been saving up your, your points, your, your you know raid orbs and all that, I got 99% of the way there tonight uh, just by saving stuff up. So very easy to obtain, even if you don't. Uh, one tip I will say, though, is that orange gear raid orbs are worth a lot, but you only get them from the Greek raids if you get 60% complete. If you do 100%, they will turn into elite orange orbs, which will give you zero points. So getting two or three of these for doing 60% is a much better value than trying to get it with... Um, you know, the 100% completion and missing out on those potential points. So keep that in mind. You need to work with your alliance on that. Make sure that they're on board with doing 99% of the raid and not finishing it and doing that, you know, starting at every 24 hours. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I think our alliance is probably going to do that, even though this is a fairly easy thing to do. Um, so once everybody's kind of finished this milestone, we'll probably stop doing that and just do 100% Greek raids, of course, because you'd rather have the elite orange orbs. You know, they have better loot in them. Uh, the fireworks orbs are also listed here. That's for the other milestone. And for that one, you need to open a total of 32 orange orbs and one uh, purple orb. So uh or you can open 33 orange orbs, or you could open 87 blue orbs, whatever you need. Um, this is kind of nice because if you're an earlier on player, you probably want the blue gear. You know, if you're not even too purple gear yet, it may not be worth it. Uh, if you're kind of early to mid game, uh, if you've only started in the last few months, you could do purple orbs as well. Uh, just whatever suits you, whatever you're going for. But I will say that if you are shooting for DD3 or anything like that, you want to open the orange fireworks orbs because right now until Monday, they have a chance of dropping full pieces of five sets of mini uniques for each of the different origin types. So you could potentially get like a drop that gives you uh, like five scans for a bio character, or that's what it's worth essentially because it's a completed piece. Those are not supposed to be in there. They already made a post about this. So you want to open those as soon as possible before they tear, tear those out. Um, so as far as these milestones go, we need a lot of points. Um, so today uh, I did one blitz rotation and did energies and all that stuff. And I made it up to about milestone 23. While that sounds good because there's only 45 milestones, I'm not actually halfway done. I am only about a quarter of the way done because you need 52,000 points and I have 14,400. The milestones are not um, evenly distributed. As you can see here, the increments uh, grow very greatly uh, about halfway through and uh, you're going to need more than one orange orb to even jump a milestone uh, when you get about to 32. However, the uh, rewards are very good. I'm sure everybody's looked at this. I'm not going to go through it too hard or too far, but you know, there's a lot of mini uniques at the end here. Uh, they start at milestone 29, which is 22,000 points. That shouldn't be too hard to get to, um, but it is, you know, something to consider is that you're hitting those mini uniques and getting a whole lot of, a uh, lot of stuff there, as well as war bucks and some good shards and a five 
red cable. Uh, I should say red, but it's a five red cable. And I'm looking forward to that because I want him to be a lot beefier on my X-Force team. And uh, I'll be putting a lot of resources into them in the near future. So as far as the calculator part goes, uh, what we're really trying to figure out here is how do we get to, it's actually 52,000 uh, 400 points if you're doing orange um, orbs and one purple orb, or you need a little bit more, you need about 52,800 points if you do all orange orbs. Uh, but basically, I just put the target in here as a hard number for me. I'm going to do 32 orange and one purple. Um, that's just how I'm doing it. But you're welcome to change this to whatever target you want. As well as, let's say you're not trying to max out these milestones, look over here, find the number that you're looking for. Maybe you're only going to go for, you know, the five red cable at 36,000 because you just don't want to blitz that much. Put 36,000 over here in your milestone uh, thing and update that. And then the rest of these values will, will trickle down. So as far as this calculator goes, you just want to look there's certain things that are fixed like if you don't let your energy top off you get 288 a day if you get your three free energy refills that's another 240 a day at 80 piece uh, if you do four 50 core refreshes on energy that should be 480 energy a day if you do any 100 or 200 core refresh just pop it in here put two if that's what you do every day for an extra you know 240 energy or 240 chimichangas you know that'll cut down on the blitzing that you need to do um, if you get energy from any other source, um, I got some from support that I've been hanging on to, so I'm going to pull those. That's 240 that I don't have to blitz for, so that's nice for me. Um, if you don't have that, you know, it's up to you. If you get it from somewhere else, go ahead, pop it in there, and uh, that'll add into your total as a fixed number. And then there's also energy from the Firework Frenzy over here. The other loot that drops within those milestones is energy uh, in the first couple of them. So that'll help you get a little bit further. Uh, but we just want to account for that because it is something. You will get, um, you know, chimichangas and, and whatever from some of the purchases. Or maybe you'll get energy from them, right? There's a bunch of energy offers out there right now. And every energy equals one chimichanga. So you can pop that in here. So if you buy, like, the big one for 2500 do that and it'll add it to your totals here. I'm not personally buying any of these offers. I think they're garbage, but that's up to you. Um, raids and uh, arena daily will give you 600 uh, chimichangas a day. And that's figured out over here as 10, uh, 10 days total of the event. So you'll get 6,000 points for that. Um, and then you'll get 500 from the daily login calendar for energy. That's one time. Uh, so I put that down here instead of up here as the other energy obtained thing. So those are two are two separate uh, items, but you can use them however you like. Um, but it's already fixed in here as well as the login calendar that gives you another 1600, which is an orange orb. So that's nice. Um, so you'll get those. That's uh, just the 2100 fixed and that pops in here from the calendar and whatnot. So the hardest thing is trying to figure out, okay, so if we get all of that, if we're, if we're going to stick to this as our schedule, uh, how many blitz wins do we need a day? So the magic number for me is 67, right? And let me show you how I got to that. So the formula here is um, figuring out what's what I have left, right? So whatever your current total is, just pop that in here. It'll tell you what's left. But really, um, if we're planning this out ahead of time, let's set expectations, right? So we put in our, what number we're targeting. So that's 52,400. Um, and I've already got all our fixed numbers in here from expected uh, energy usage and all that. Um, put in the blitz wins a day. So I put in 67, and that gets me to negative 277, 10, 275 chimichangas extra, right? If I only do 50 wins a day, I'm only going to get 15,750 chimichangas from my blitz right and so that drops me 5,000 below my projected number that I need for max milestones so keep that in mind as well because if you're targeting something lower let's say you are going for 36,000 right pop that in here and change it right and just test it out I, I can't change it right now there's too many people accessing the document so it's actually uh airing out on me for a sec here. <laughs> Sorry, it's pausing. But let's say I'm only going for the five red cable. Well, now I don't need to do 50 blitzes a day. I could do maybe 25, right? I'm still way over. I'm over by 3,400. I could do maybe 20, right? How many are we getting? Oh man, even less than that. So if all I'm going for is 15 red star, or five red star cable, I only need to do 15 blitz wins a day. But there is a lot of really good loot over here. So you got to consider, you know, is, is doing 50 blitzes a day worth, you know, going past 
say this milestone here. Let's uh, scroll down. So we get a whole bunch of mini uniques. We get a whole bunch of elite five credits. There's 4,000 elite five credits. If you can finish all this, there's a whole bunch of orange gear. So that's all really good stuff. So that to me, that's why I put, you know, 52,000, uh, I think it's 400, right? That's, that's what I'm targeting. So for me, that's 67 blitz wins a day over nine days, not 10. So that was something we talked about on the stream earlier. Um, or blitzes traditionally have not dropped the credits or resource or whatever we're trying to get from these events. So we have to call it nine days of blitzing, not 10, because we're going to miss out on Sunday, Monday's blitz for the orbs. So um, 10 days remaining in the event. We're just trying to track, you know, how much is lapsed. There's only, we're only a third of a day into it so far because it just started. Um, I'm going to play around with this. I'm not sure if we have any more relevant numbers to add here, but maybe we do. Um, as far as tracking actual blitz credits earned. Um, I was trying to pull out all the static values and just pull in the blitz stuff so we know how many if we're actually hitting our target. Um, because yeah, we're projecting to do 67 blitz wins a day. But are we doing that? Are we doing 80 blitz wins a day so we can stop, you know, two days early, right? Maybe that's something you want to do is target that. And then you can take off the last two days. I don't know. Um, to me, though, there's not any good blitzes coming up, so I'm not really excited about blitzing for these characters, just like the last event where it's like, well, I don't really need them. So the trick is, right, set up your save squads with four good teams that you want to win with and one really bad team. Start at tier one, win with four teams, lose with the bad one, just quit out, start it and quit out, and then win with your next four, lose on the next one, quit out, and stay at tier one. It'll take you five minutes to do, like, uh, you know, five teams tops because you're going to be mostly spending your time in load screens. Uh, one big AOE is basically going to wipe out the enemy and you'll be done in no time. So all you care about here is blitz wins. Don't worry about points. Nobody, if you don't need Captain America shards, I mean, what the hell are you blitzing for, right? Like blitz for these, just make it as easy on yourself as possible. Make it as little time as possible and you'll be able to hit, you know, 67 plus a day easily. So those are the tips I have. Um, so far, I've heard that there are no bugs in these milestones yet, at least as far as I know. I haven't heard anything, so that's good. Last time this event was around, there were a whole bunch of bugs. There were a whole bunch of milestones that you couldn't claim, and uh, you couldn't get them until after the event was over. So, uh, so far, it seems like uh, we're in the clear. But uh, feel free to make a copy of this sheet. All you got to do is go down here to the bottom, say copy to uh, new spreadsheet and make it your own. Um, Anybody can do that and, uh, you know, or an existing spreadsheet if you already have an MSF spreadsheet out there. So do that and get a copy of this. Put in your orb values, put in your expected uh, blitz wins, put in the numbers that you need to figure out how much work you got to do to finish all this stuff. And like I said, make your target off of what's realistic, right? Like look over here and think, well, what do I really want out of this? Do I want to kill myself blitzing for this? And maybe do, maybe you don't. But if you use that tier one method and keep losing down, I think it'll be really simple to max these milestones and get it done. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, be happy to help out. But uh, I think we're in pretty good shape here. I don't think this is going to be too bad. Um, just got to keep winning at tier one over and over and over again, and you'll eventually get all you need. So, all right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you later.